The prospect of going through secondary school without having to pay tuition, purchase books and uniforms, or finding something to eat in the morning has been an election pledge made by political parties for many years. That promise has never really been fulfilled, despite attempts by successive administrations to make education more affordable to all. The Briseño administration, as part of its Plan Belize Manifesto, has embarked on an ambitious initiative, beginning with a free education pilot project in four high schools in Belize City. At the start of, their, uh, new year, of this new year, that, that kicks in. So students going there now will have uh, all of this taken care of by the government in terms of not having to pay tuition. And we're also looking at some other services that go with that. Uh, the schools have been asking us to look at a meal per day, whether it's a, at breakfast or a lunch, to also be able to encourage uh, enrollment by students. You know, the students in these areas have so many challenges. Part of it is that many of them might not even have food. Uh, so they don't have the energy to pay attention in class. Uh, so these are some of the, the, the things that we're looking at. And then we, we roll that out. We're hoping to have the Lille start um, at the beginning of next year. And as our resources permit, we then add on more and more schools. We have 62 high schools in the country. We're beginning now with four. By the end of the, this academic year, we'll be at five. And we roll out going forward. Among the four secondary schools in Belize City are Maud Williams and Excelsior High Schools. Deborah Domingo is the principal at Maud Williams. There was an assessment done mm -hmm. of the four government-owned um, schools in, in Belize City, um, particularly Southside Belize City, and there were things that we had in common, challenges that we had in common. Mm -hmm. um, we served the same profile of students hence the, the commonality there. Mm -hmm. And so out of that assessment came the recommendations, mm -hmm. and it's from the recommendations that we have this awesome project. Um, actually, we should call it a program. Yeah. As you know, projects have a start and an end. <laughs> yes. Um, but it is, it is absolutely exciting because our students will get to benefit in ways that Previously, they were not even imagining. The idea, according to Minister of State Dr. Louis Zabane, is to increase the enrollment of students in high school. By meeting the expenses for them, it should make life easier, particularly where attendance and performance are concerned. We're encouraging more students to be enrolled. That's a big part of the objective, is to make sure that those students who dropped out in, because of the difficulties in their in their areas, now have a friendly, uh, safe environment for them to come back to school. The parents don't have to be worrying about how we will pay for the, for our children to attend these schools. Over at Excelsior High School, Principal Don Waters says that the feeding program goes a long way in encouraging attendance. Or um, clientele mm -hmm. normally come from the surrounding um, geographic areas. Yeah. And so um, they tend to benefit with respect to free tuition, right? Um, that is a, a part of the, the policy. Mm -hmm. Uniform, they plan to be receiving a minimum of three uniforms and we can give them more as a, a need by need basis. Um, Mr. Mingo touched earlier on the feeding program. Mm -hmm. And so um, they have the benefit of getting breakfast or lunch and administrators will decide which is more beneficial to them. I know in my particular school, breakfast is more beneficial to us right. because it has helped us with attendance and lateness to school because okay. they want to access the meal. Other schools in the pilot project include Gwen Lizaraga and Sadie Vernon High Schools. The initiative will be rolled out in these four institutions at the beginning of the 2022 academic year at the end of August. Reporting for News 5, I am Isane Cayetano.